out of their homes for the holidays. Five Allentown families have been evacuated because of that. Their homes were deemed unsafe because of that huge sinkhole that opened up on North 10th Street. Chopper 6HD was over the scene today, and Action News reporter David Henry was on the ground to get all the details. They've been at it all day, and they'll be working long into the night. As you can see behind me, work crews continue stabilizing the situation. A rude awakening for residents of this block early this morning. Dwayne Glover made the discovery. Just, I'm just thanking God that, you know, that we are all right. It was just before 7 this morning when Glover went to his basement to investigate a lack of water pressure. He found it flooded. As I'm searching for, to find out where the water's coming from, I fell through the concrete floor. He was able to crawl out and saw a river of water flowing beneath the concrete. It went down probably like two foot and uh, it spread out probably like three. And uh, Well, you must have been uh, frightened when that happened. Yeah, uh, just to think you're going to fall through a black hole. He called the water department and got his family out. They had to force the door open since the house had shifted. Outside, they saw a huge sinkhole in the street. I don't know measurements, but it's a big hole, you know, to have our house shifting. So far, they're telling us our house has the worst damage. The fire department evacuated the entire block after finding another lurking danger. The erosion had undermined a 12-inch gas transmission main. A rupture would have knocked out gas service to most of the city and Whitehall Township. Work crews capped the water leak, and the gas company stabilized the main with webbing until it can be backfilled. Investigators found structural damage in five of the 13 homes on the block. There's foundation cracks, there's uh, water damage in the, in the basements, um, there's uh, um, also some uh, uh, shifting of the houses that we saw. Three of the homes have shifted so badly, they'll probably have to be demolished. About 25 residents were left wondering when they'd ever be able to get back in. The Mertz family has had it especially tough. We had a house fire in February due to faulty wiring. And we've been out, we just moved back home in October, and now we're out again. And they'll be out all night. Work crews brought in tons of concrete to stabilize the gas main, and there is still plenty of work ahead. In Allentown, David Henry, Channel 6 Action News.